hate viruses so much. They're all mean to us. Well, not all of them are. So there is a virus that's actually helpful to us? Yeah, it's called a bacteriophage. What do they do? Well, a bacteriophage, or phage for short, infects bacteria instead of animal and plant cells. The only thing different is the structure of the virus. Unlike in the last video, where its spike is around the virus, the bacteriophage's spikes is concentrated in one point, and it looks like a needle. But the overall technique is the same. They latch onto the bacteria, releases their genetic material into the bacteria, and replicate many many times until the bacteria explodes. But how is it actually useful? Because nowadays, there is a new type of bacteria called superbugs which are incredibly dangerous and hard to kill. Superbugs? What are they? Well, you know how you normally cure bacterial infections, right? You drink an antibiotic for a couple of days or weeks and then the infection goes away. Well, here's the problem. Superbugs are resistant to antibiotics, which means you cannot kill them with normal antibiotics. So if a superbug infects us, we'll never be cured from it? Precisely! But luckily, scientists have found a new way to kill these horrendous superbugs. And it is through the use of bacteriophages. As I have said before, bacteriophages are capable of infecting bacteria. So all scientists have to do is to find the correct bacteriophage in order to cure and kill a certain type of superbug. It's like bug catching, but with creatures which are incredibly small that your eyes can't see them. This new way of killing superbugs is called phage therapy, and it is incredibly effective. But there's a slight problem to it. Not all countries have access to these treatments yet, so even though scientists have found a way to cure these infections, chances are you're not gonna have them in your country. But why? Aren't people suffering from superbugs? Well, it's because it's incredibly impractical. The first problem is finding the correct phage. This is incredibly difficult because you have to find one specific phage in millions and trillions of other phages. The second problem is distribution. Since bacteriophages are not like medicines and drugs, your pharmacies cannot give them to you. A very trained professional needs to inject those bacteriophages inside your body. So how bad are these superbugs? The most popular strain of superbug is E. coli. E. coli? I thought we can cure those easily with antibiotics. Well, we still can. But some species of E. coli have evolved to become superbugs. The symptoms of E. coli include diarrhea, which are usually bloody, vomiting, and extreme stomach cramps. So without phages, these symptoms would never go away? Sadly, yes. How did this bacteria become so powerful anyway? Through natural selection. When you drink an antibiotic, usually the bacteria dies, but sometimes a few might live. This is why you need to drink multiple doses of antibiotic before you are securely safe from the infection. If not treated to another dose of antibiotic, then the few that has lived the previous onslaught of antibiotic will then transfer their genes over to other bacteria using horizontal gene transfer or bacterial fission. Alright, let's first talk about bacterial fission. It is simply a way for the bacterium to reproduce. They do this by copying their genetic material inside, and then they just simply split into two new different bacteria. Okay, next let's talk about horizontal gene transfer, or HGT for short. It is a group consisting of three different techniques in which the bacteria can transfer their genetic material into other bacteria. Now this is a bit problematic, right? The three ways are conjugation, transduction, and transformation. But in this video, we're going to be only talking about conjugation. Conjugation is when a bacteria that has a good gene, for example, one of antibiotic resistance for example, goes to direct contact with some other bacteria that does not have the gene, and then copies its own genetic material, and then just transport it over to the other bacteria that does not have it. Now both of them will then have this desired gene. 
In conclusion, we learned that there are these bacteria called superbugs. The superbugs are antibiotic resistant, meaning that you cannot kill them using antibiotics. However, scientists have found a cure called bacteriophages. These bacteriophages are very helpful because they are the only things so far that, that are, have been able to kill the superbugs. Next, we learn about the different ways in which the superbugs can develop. One of them is through bacterial fission. It is when the superbug copies itself normally by splitting. The other way is conjugation. Conjugation is when a superbug goes to a bacteria which is a normal bacteria and then gives it their genes, basically copying it, making them both superbugs. Ah, now I understand more about phages and superbugs. Thank you for watching our video. If you like our content, please like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell. Bye!